fish. Well, county fair season is underway in West Michigan, but the bird flu is causing some concerns. The virus jumped from birds to dairy cattle for the first time earlier this year. Now, new biosecurity rules mandated by the state are in place to prevent this virus from spreading. I talked to state agricultural officials about what this means for West Michigan families this summer on what's safe to do and what's not. <laughs> Dairy cattle are a staple at West Michigan County Fairs, but this season the rules have changed. The Michigan Department of Agriculture and Rural Development tells News Channel 3 on July 9th, the 26th dairy herd in Michigan tested positive for the highly pathogenic avian flu. Is that number alarming to you? Uh, certainly on some level of the fact that we've got a disease that, that is, that's, that's that widespread. In late June, MDAR director Tim Boring amended the state's emergency order, pausing lactating cows from going to fairs until 60 days had passed since a reported positive case. And due to this latest case, the clock starts over. Director Boring says the rules are more stringent than in other states to keep animals and people safe. I wouldn't be concerned at all about families interacting and being, being around poultry or, or cattle at, at fairs the upcoming fair season. Doug Chapin is the chairman of the Michigan Milk Association and a dairy farmer in Macosta County for 40 years. His herd is healthy, but knows other farms who have tested positive in Michigan. So the disease is very interesting in that for some people, it's the symptoms are slight and other farms, the symptoms seem to hit pretty hard. But in general, I'd say that most of the guys that have gone through it. It's been a couple of weeks of a lot of work supporting the cattle. Chapin says dairy cows who contract bird flu can see a decrease in milk supply by up to 15 percent. Testing is now underway at the Michigan State University Veterinary Diagnostic Laboratory. Director Kimberly Dodd says the virus replicates well in a cow's mammary glands. So what do you say to an everyday consumer who drinks milk? Is it safe? I think that we are all looking closely at the guidance from CDC and FDA, which have all confirmed that pasteurization kills the virus in milk. The bird flu has also spread to domestic cats. We asked Director Dodd what pet owners need to know. We have seen cats who have been infected and developed very severe disease and some have died. Director Dodd says the cats were in direct contact with infected dairy cattle and there have been no reports of cats transmitting the bird flu to humans. As of July 14th, the CDC reported a total of nine humans have contracted the virus. Two people were from Michigan and were in close contact with cattle. Is the fact that the avian bird flu is now transmissible to humans, is that concerning to you? Certainly. We need to be taking proactive steps now to make sure that we don't continue to foster the, the virus in the environment and have it mutate into a different way that is a greater human health risk into the future. According to the Associated Press, the U.S. is paying vaccine manufacturer Moderna $176 million to develop a bird flu vaccine. Federal health officials stress the risk of bird flu to the wider population is low for now, but they want a vaccine at the ready in case it becomes a pandemic.